Hello, my name is Caitlin Bosma, and I am a Civil Technical Specialist at ETG. Today I will be going over Autodesk Construction Cloud. To start out, you'll open up your internet and you'll type in acc.autodesk.com. You'll log into your Autodesk account, and you'll end up on this page, which is your main landing page. To get to, the, to your projects and to your account, you would go to Account Admin. Here up here, you would have your account. I'm going to go ahead and go into the ATG USA account. And as you can see, all of our projects are listed. We, of course, have quite a few, 408, but quite a few. So here you can see all of your projects listed. You can come over here to the members, and you can see all of the members. Here you can click on somebody and set their role as well as their access levels. To start out, I'm going to go to this project, you click on the project. As you can see, the members listed. If you come up here to Docs, you can then see that this is the file structure. We have our top project files, and then we have all of the different project files going through with all of the folders. You can edit them, also go through, and as you can see, here is the DW, DWG files. With this, you can see the versions of what has been used. As you can see, this one has 63. If you click on it, you can see all of the different version history. You can make ones current, whichever one you'd like, if you'd like to go back a few versions or 10, however many. And if you come down here, you can compare versions. Click on that. You would then select two versions and hit compare. It then brings you to this screen where you can then verify your documents. You can change them up here as well as change your version. And then also change which sheet slash view you're comparing. And then you would hit compare. It would do an overlay of the sheets. And you would be able to see the differences between the two versions. Coming back to this screen, we're back at our files. So now we can look, let's head back up to project files. And now we can switch it over to the Autodesk, De Autodesk Docs side of things. <clears throat> so over here, you will see Autodesk Docs. You'll see that these are the different accounts that it are here, so we're going to go through ETG USA. I only have a few projects on my screen. You can control down here through the desktop connector what projects you would like seen. So you would hit the settings. You would then go to select projects. And as you can see, these are all of my accounts, and then you can go into each project and select them individually to see which ones you want to be seen through the De Autodesk Docs desktop connector. <clears throat> so if we go here through Birch Avenue, again, we're at Project Files. We can click through, Plans and Specs, Progress PDFs, and it's the same thing. It brings us right through, right in our File Explorer. Now moving on, we can move to Civil 3D. And as you can see, we can also access it through our Start screen. This is where it usually lands. And then you just come over here to Autodesk Docs. And you can select your projects. You can select your account. And you can do the same thing, where you can go through Plans and Specs, do Survey. And we can go ahead and open one of these drawings. So as you can see, here we are with the drawing. Some differences are that now you can, the drawing in tool space has the cloud next to it, which means that you're pulling from your desktop connector. So everything is up in, based off the, of the cloud right now or stored in the cloud right now. And then it, you would go through the same process if you'd like to XREF something. Let's go ahead and 
bring this over. You can go ahead and attach a drawing. Again, Autodesk Docs is here in your quick access. Click on that. If it's not there, then I would definitely recommend putting it there because it makes it a lot easier. Click through again. Go through. Here we go. Just go ahead and select a file real quick. We'll add this in. Again, it get, brings you through the same menu, but as you know, we referenced it through Autodesk Docs and the desktop connector. And as you can see, it XREFs it on, and it's pulling from ACC Docs and then the file path. And then you would do the same thing through here to go through and you would just go to file, save. And then we go to file, close. And we're back to our Autodesk, Autodesk Docs landing screen. I hope this video helps. And please let us know if you have any questions or would like to go over anything else. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel.